The story is very simple. A mass slides down the slope. There are three forces acting on the mass. Its own weight, which is vertically down, and the slope exerts a normal contact force of 49.2 newtons and a frictional force of 6.2 newtons up along the slope. The direction of the acceleration of this mass is clearly downwards along the slope. Because of this, we know the clever thing to do is to resolve all the forces into directions along the slope and perpendicular to the slope. The forces perpendicular to the slope will balance each other out, whereas the forces along the slope will be unbalanced, but they can be equated to mass times acceleration. Which is what we have here. This equation is about forces perpendicular to the slope. So perpendicular to the slope, we have the 49.2 Newton up perpendicular to the slope, balanced by the components of weight down perpendicular to the slope. The component of weight perpendicular to the slope can be written as mg cos theta. You have to first figure out that this angle here is the same as this angle here, 10 degrees. So mg cos 10 degrees is balanced by 49.2 newtons. Again, this is based on the fact that the acceleration is purely along the slope. So there's no acceleration in the direction perpendicular to the slope. Now you put in all the numbers, you can calculate the mass to be 5.09 kg. Now let's work on the forces parallel to the slope. In the direction parallel to the slope, we have 6.2 newtons up along the slope. And we have the weight which has a component down along the slope. And that component of weight along the slope can be written as mg sine 10 degrees. So mg sine 10 degrees, which is down along the slope, minus 6.2 newton, which is up along the slope, can be equated to the mass times its acceleration. We put in all the numbers and we can calculate the acceleration to be 0 0.485 meter per second square. Easy peasy. And thanks for using XM Physics.